out of sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I don't quite think it is sunken in just yet. Class for today is our final day together as an entire year group, and as the sixth year class of 2021. When writing this speech, I had no clue what I wanted to say or how I was going to manage to express my gratitude for my six years here and for people who have made this experience more amazing than I ever could have imagined. However, I'm going to try my best. Obviously, this year has not been quite what we had hoped it would be, but as much as I could stand here and rhyme off every single thing that we have missed out on, including the lack of a six-year dining area, which still stings a little bit to think about, <laughs> I recognise how lucky we are to be here right now, and I would much rather spend these few minutes speaking about what I will miss upon leaving the Reddit. Although, of course, there were the big events like sports days and lunchtime concerts, it is little things that I will remember most. When Miss O'Toole had to remind us for the 100th time about the Tishal Ginnagoth, or the difference between the spelling of in Aaron and Uchtaran the Heron. <laughs> Miss Fitzpatrick having to continually give the feedback, which also always includes a reminder that we cannot use the phrase Boku Day. <laughs> Doing proofs and maths and Mr. Carney singing Oh Happy Day when we were nearing the end, or the drawings of Bertie and Pierre, which always came in handy. Or when myself and Ellen did our first computer science project, a website dedicated to Glee and all of its characters. If only that would have sufficed as a project for a real leaving their brief. However, this experience started long before all of these things. It started in first year when I was four foot nothing, which I am continually reminded of by the video of the show choir competition on YouTube, where I look at solid meters smaller than everyone else. And when myself and the rest of my class were slightly terrified of Miss McVeigh, he used to say that first years are like ducks. <laughs> I never quite knew exactly what she meant, but I guess now, looking back on all of us stumbling around with our bags holding more than our body weight in bulk, I can kind of see what she meant. Also, I can't say that this is the day that you get to dress up as me and go up on stage in front of the mansion house with the Echo UNESCO Let It Be team, rapping to a new and improved version of the classic song which has since become known to me, Sarah, Ava and myself as the Fresh Bees of Bel Air. I still don't quite know what we were thinking and how exactly I retained every lyric to that song, but at least we came first place with the help of Miss Gunny and of course made a couple local newspapers which chose the obvious headline, the Red Oak Swords buzzing after win. I couldn't possibly talk to you about my Red Oak experience today then without mentioning transition here. Something I never was even intending on doing until the very last minute. And now I know it is certainly something I will never forget and that I am so glad I did. TY began with our bonding trip in Belgium, where we got to properly speak to some girls who had been in our year group, but their paths had never crossed before. The uncooked meat that we were all given every evening definitely gave us something to bond over and meant that we were living off of bread rolls and cucumber spices for four days. <laughs> We were also thrown straight into the deep end to face many of our fears. For some it was heights and for others it was roller coasters. But by the end, with the help of those around us, we managed to overcome them and to do things we never normally would have done before. We did so much in TY that I couldn't possibly remember everything, but some highlights included. Running around the plowing championship, desperately trying to get selfies with Dottie O'Shea and Marty Morrissey. <laughs> Going to Jigsaw Peer Education and slightly embarrassing ourselves, namely when we were asked to speak about what helps our mental health, and I felt compelled to stand in front of everyone and rant about how a cup of tea fixes all my problems. That statement still stands, by the way. <laughs> Becoming professional keeners for our end of year famine drama with Miss Scully, which left all of our parents slightly confused, especially at the fact it was by a medley of songs from Greece the musical. <laughs> but as much as would not have asked for a better group of people to be coming into our last two years here with. Although we haven't had the most time together, everyone has been so lovely and allowed us to feel at ease. Coming into a group of people who had already been together for so long. And so I just want to say thank you so much for welcoming us so warmly. Likewise, I would like to just take a moment to say a sincere thank you to Purple who I've loved working side by side with for the past year in our roles as head girls. 
So as we all leave here today, I want to reiterate one message in particular. To thine own self be true, or in the words of El Woods, being true to yourself never goes out of style. None of us can know where we will be even a year from now. We are now coming to the end of this chapter in our lives, but this is most certainly not the end of their journey. I know that you will all grow into wonderful people, and that greatness lies in all of you. You will learn new things, meet new people, and travel to new places you never could have imagined. You may not figure out what or who you're going to be overnight, and as our French class know well, there is no magic wand. Il n'y a pas de baguette magique. <laughs> but trust that by going after what it is that you want, and not basing your expectations on the realities of others, you will get there. And when you do, I hope that you will find happiness in the person you become. Finally, I am so grateful for the opportunity to be a leader for such a wonderful group. And thank you all so much for making this year the best that it could have been. As a music student for the past six years, and with music playing a huge part in my life, both in and outside of school, I look back and remember what Mr. Glennon wrote on the window of the music drama room years ago. Where words fail, music speaks. And I feel like there are so many songs which could better convey my emotions about today and express how I feel better than I ever will. But I'll just mention one from a favorite musical of mine, Wicked. So let me say before we part, so much as me is made of what I've learned from you, you'll be with me like a handprint on my heart. And I know, because I knew you, I have been changed for good. <laughs>